Hello everyone and welcome to another tank review. This time we are looking at the tier 7, a, a premium re reward tank, the T28 concept. The uh, twi the uh, T a 28 concept is a uh, very heavily armored tier 7 uh, tank destroyer with a capable gun for its tier. Let's look into the armor first. As you can see, it has uh, a 203 millimeters of uh, frontal armor which uh, is a bit sloped but uh, not at a very great angle as you can see uh, the lower plate isn't really a weak spot I mean it's uh, 178 millimeters but it's heavily sloped these uh, zones here are, uh, are at auto ricochet zones and this part as well so don't try to shoot it here uh, the gun mantlet is also at 203 millimeters of spaced armor which uh, which can uh, result in a, a great protection and these zones here at are at, uh, are at uh, are at uh, 102 but they are sloped as well the roof uh, the uh, turret hatches are 102 millimeters you can these two are these three actually are a weak spot but if the driver of the t28 concept wiggles uh, you will have a hard time hitting them now the only places where you can reliably shoot a T28 concept are these cylinders here, as you can see, 102 millimeters of armor, but they aren't sloped, they're just there as weak spots, and these zones that are out of pen for some bizarre reason, uh, you also, you I have the same uh, issue on this side so e everything that will shoot you in this area will probably pen the side armor itself it's uh, 102 which means that you can side scrape a lot with this combined with the great gun arc as you can see when we look into the uh, stats of this tank you I will compare it to the T2580 the penetration of it is 181 but at tier 7 that is plenty if I'm honest the uh, damage is okay at, at 320 and the, the DPM is not bad either the rate of fire at 6.2 rounds a minute is okay and the ammo a capacity is very good uh, on this tank I mean you can carry r carry some battles very effectively with it you don't have to worry about uh, running out of ammo and the view range at 370 is very good for a tier 7 tank destroyer since the uh, tank destroyers did have their view range nerf nerfed a couple of, of patches ago as you can see the T2580 uh, has only 350 the signal range is a bit of a, a drawback but it's no big deal if I'm honest the camera values are, su are surprisingly good uh, it has to be said the accuracy of this tank is uh, pretty poor pretty poor at 0.39 with 2.3 second aim time and these soft stats here are mildly better because uh, the gun it 
the tank is a lot slower than the T T uh, 2580. The gun elevation plus 15, which is not bad, and the gun depression at 4. Point at minus 4.4 .4 is pretty bad. The uh, when we look into the mobility, a 960 horsepower engine, which is pretty okay, but the a uh, horsepower per ton is uh, pretty. It is it's not okay at at 13.71, and combined with this soft stuff here, as you can see, that are horrific. You have an 18 degrees of uh, of chassis traverse speed, which is uh, the biggest uh, drawback of this tank. The uh, speed forwards it's 29, and this tank can reach it surprisingly. It only turns like a brick, but if you go in a, a straight line, it can shift. And the hit point value um, is pretty okay at 880 because uh, that is above the average of uh, the tier 7 tank destroyers. Uh, another thing to note about this tank is that uh, it has a very big gun arc as I showed you before which means that you can greatly use it uh, to your advantage for instance if there is a building here you can poke out like this uh, with the building here that means that you are hiding your huge weak spots over here I mean this cylinders with this auto pen zone here and you are only exposing your uh, front drive wheel at sort of a this angle but even that is around 250 millimeters of of penetration with uh, the uh, lower plate at 240 in its uh, lowest values when we look uh, into the equipment choices I would definitely put a, a gun rammer and uh, a, a, a binocular telescope because this thing uh, isn't always top tier sometimes it it has to be in the back lines I mean your armor is pretty uh, it's very good as long as nobody fires APCR I mean take a look at the T29 t as a, a standard penetration it has around a 200 so he won't be able to pen you almost anywhere but when he will shoot APCR he has uh, around 250 so he will be able to uh, pen you which means that APCR is this enemy's uh, nemesis but let's get back to the point and for the uh, third slot I would either go with uh, the enhanced a gun link drive or improved ventilation I went for improved ventilation because this uh, this thing is really slow and it's a, a brawler it's a, a close range fighter so you don't need at least for me the a gun link drive if you have this thing you can mount that for equipment pretty standard automatic fire extinguisher since the engine is in the front I haven't been set on fire so far but uh, I think that that can be a problem with a small repair kit and a small med kit for a crew skill since it's a premium tank even though it it doesn't make any money you 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 can put whichever crew you want I have my T30 t crew in it uh, it's pretty obvious for a heavy tank if I'm honest not a tank destroyer you uh, have to know that about this thing I mean this is a heavy not it a, a classic uh, tank destroyer you you have to be in the uh, front lines with this especially when you are top tier so 
six cents six cents and uh, repairs are are pretty standard for the gunner I would go repairs and probably snapshot after that for the uh, driver clutch braking is a very must with uh, off-road driving and repairs as I said before for the loaders since there are two of them one of them should have sa safe storage and repairs and for the other one you can either go with adrenaline rush or intuition but I suggest if you have intuition to be trained on both of the uh, loaders and repairs I think that this garage review is done uh, let's look into the uh, game I've had in uh, this tank and here I am in the very first game I've had in the T28 HTC uh, it's a standard battle on uh, on Limber since it is my uh, first game I am top tier I do have a top tier matchup very good top tier matchup with only 3 enemy tier 7s and one RT, but the RT won't be a problem for me, I think. Even though at this point I am pretty much the only tier 7 going into the city, I won't think that I don't think that that would be a problem because as long as I have some backup by my team, uh, that will be okay. As, as long as nobody thanks me at this spot at P150 he is tracked yes, and he shot me and I uh, shot him in his weak spot that's uh, a damage number 1 for me the IS also makes weapons he is presenting me his side flat on I will happily shoot him there the SU makes also weapons but I don't think of him as show a threat and I do take him out I have already received five shots and at this point I need to use my repair kit because, because I do have uh, a big enough gunner to just be able to use it to be able to return the fire the stick is taken out, I do have shots on this uh, KV-1 but I do want to prioritize the FPC since he is a tier 7 tank luckily I do see him on fire and he doesn't have a fire extinguisher so I do low, pretty low he is not the lowest and I do want to, to Yes, I have the KV-1 as well. So far I have received 14 hits and 2.5k of potential damage. I do prioritize the P1, maybe that was a mistake. I should have shot the uh, P1. Luckily the next shot bends and he bounces. I did get lucky here, the t 59 was on my side. I did not even see him if I'm honest. But luckily he, he gets taken out and I live through it. And since this tank is slow and there are only two enemy vehicles left, that is all I can do in this game. Uh, I think that it's time to get into the post battle results. And here are the post battle results of that game. As you can see that was my first ace tanker in the first game which is very nice to get I got shitload of, of tokens I don't know what they are if I'm honest from the battle hero medals I've got um, steel wall for the insane amount of damage that I received in this game and high caliber for the total damage that I've I've done to the enemy when you look into the into the team score we can see that uh, we did finish on top 
of our team by far I mean we did uh, 3.8k damage with uh, 5 kills and almost uh, 1400 base experience which is very good for any tank and that was enough for us to get the ace tanker the enemy team <laughs> as you can see the IS and the SU-55 and the SU-105 all have zero damage I mean the most damage they have is in this corral I feel bad for them but that was that when we look into the into some bigger details we can see that we did fire 12 shots with 12 hits and 12 penetrations I mean we were at such close range that almost uh, it was impossible to to miss if I'm honest uh, we did as I said 3.8k damage with zero of that being from sniping distances we did receive 17 hits and only 3 penetrations which means that we blocked around uh, 3000 damage which is great for <laughs> any tank for even a mouse if it blocks 3000 damage it has probably done its job well but this is a tier 7 tank we did spot 4 enemies at the beginning we did and we did damage to 7 of them killing 5 of, five of the enemies and we assisted uh, 350 damage probably some assistance we <laughs> almost didn't really travel in in that game I mean we did only 0.7 kilometers which is nothing and that battle lasted only 3 minutes which is even more when we look into the accuracy you uh, can see that this thing does not make any any money I mean in any tier 7 thing if I've done this amount of damage I would have made this amount of money but it does get some uh, experience bonuses which is nice if you want to uh, train your crew anyway guys that was my review of this tank hope you hope it showcased all of its weaknesses and strengths and how to be played effectively uh, hope that you enjoyed this video and bye for now